guys. Got some um, free time today. In fact, I've got a free day. So today I'm decided to go on a road trip and I'm heading off to Brighton. Going to be visiting um, the retro game shop in Brighton, Ninja Den, and going to be visiting some retro toy shop. And uh, yeah, noisy, noisy place, Brighton. Let's enjoy. Sixty four is going to be sixty four. Sixty four is an unboxed one. That's a bit of a special one. Uh, with this, uh, special that's sixty nine, but a uh, normal grey one. Mm. We sell for forty four. Um, smile for the camera. Oh. Look anyway, at that. If that's him smiling, I'd worry. <laughs> he does he smile. smile now. He does, does he? Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah.
His name's, his name's got to be Rob, is it? Oh, is, he is Rob. You are Rob. Yeah. Give me, let me see this camera. No. <laughs> let me see this camera. We've been talking. Hang on, hang on. Oh, it's still recording. How long now? Three and a half hours Three or something. Three and a half hours. And he's been out back in this place. He is really mm. through the inner depths and bowels of my shop. Yeah. I bet you thought I was going to say something else. Yeah, um, thankfully, no. No, we haven't gone there. Yeah. Maybe next time. Yeah, it's the first time we've met, by the way, at and long last. I can't even get my name right. Yeah. So, John? Frank? Yeah. James. And the thing is, we're friends on Facebook and stuff, and we've chatted for years on Facebook, because <coughs> Facebook, Facebook as well. So well, this I is you really good. embarrassed and not me. Yeah. I, I, I live to be embarrassed. I embarrass the hell out of myself all the time. <laughs> yeah. It's but anyway, let, let's, let's, let's... But we've had fun. Yeah. It's been good fun. They don't have to live with him. He's on camera. Look at look at yourself on camera. Say hello, camera. Hello. <laughs> yeah, look, look, look. I'll give him the special tool that we use for cleaning controllers. Getting yeah. the cheese out. Yeah. I've done that. You've done the de cheesifying. He's de cheesified it. So. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the best tool for um, SNES cartridges is the Morrison's own brand wet wipes. They are the best Ooh. thing ever. Yep. This, this is my, Morrison. This is my tool for. for they use SNES rubbers, cartridge. do you? Yeah. If necessary. Yeah. Anyway, everyone's coming into the shop, so I'm going to say thank you, James. Thank you, Claire. Yay! I finished the Ninja Game Den, and then I headed down to Snoopers Paradise to have a look around. Um, I must say, it's all right. It's really, really busy. It's found like a sort of an alleyway around the back street. And they had some really nice retro stuff, really strict signs about what you can and what you can't film, where you can and where you can't film. Uh, I've got a little bit of footage, which is here. And they had like a B wing, which was really nice condition, but we were really, really, really pricey, and everything in there was crazy pricey. And they had a lot of Star Wars figures as well that you could tell were really bad repro knockoffs. And they're asking like 30, 40 quid for these repros, so nah, nah, there was nothing for me. So I, um, yeah, nothing for me there at all. But anyway, so as I said, I'd finished in Ninja Game Den, and I wanted to say thank you to um, Dan, ha ha ha, James, sorry dude, I will remember one day, and these are my pickups. I got a lovely Chuck Rock Game Gear game, which is boxed with manual, I got the box and manual and inserts of Mortal Kombat Game Gear, which I need, I got a box and man manual, no game of course, I didn't need that, for Super R-Type on the Super Nintendo. Uh, I also picked up the Zapper for the NES, and the main reason I picked it up is because I finally got back a game I wanted, and that is Duck Hunt and the Mario Brothers on the NES. So, and uh, let me see, what else did I get? He gave me an empty 
Game Gear card. Why not? Because we can never have enough Game Gear cards. And then, ooh, ooh, a Bubble Bubble related item. And that is Paracel Stars. And absolutely freaking awesome because I've been looking for this one and there wasn't even any cheap car only on eBay. And yeah, yeah, really happy with that. I also picked up a, well, he gave me the manual for Yoshi's Story on Nintendo 64, which I needed. And last of all, I got hmm, another empty gear, game gear case. I got a American um, California Games 2 on the SNES, which is absolutely dire, but cost me £5. And I'm happy to pay £5, and there's quite a funny story with this one. Basically, he got it in a VHS cassette. And, um, yeah, it looked like someone had printed a manual out around the outsides, sorry, printed a cover for the VHS for this game and put it in the sleeves. But no, they actually cut up the box. Yes. Crazy. Why do some people do that? But then going for the manual, I found the manual for it and the game. And I've got to say, I had a fantastic time there. I meant to go there for an hour or so. I was there for like three and a half hours. Um... Oh, it was brilliant. It was really, really chuffed at long last to finally meet up with um, James and uh, Rob. I think it's Rob, yeah. Uh, it was super accommodating. They let me rummage throughout the back and all that. Like, you know, what I really, really love doing. And I can't wait to see them more in the future. And I will definitely be revisiting sooner because it's a, a fantastic day. It's been a fantastic day out. Even though I was running short on time. And, uh, you know, I finished there. And I was absolutely starving, and they recommended, um, I think it's called Phoenix Cafe, just down the road. And I filmed a little video, you know, basically, um, inside it they've got a SNES, and I think it's a Mega Drive hooked up. And I got myself a bacon sausage sandwich and a cappuccino, and holy crap, that was some of the tastiest bacon sausage sandwich I'd ever eaten in my life. I was sat eating in the car, just thinking I was in heaven. But anyway, so that was my trip ended in Brighton, and... It didn't disappoint. The only thing it disappointed by was the time. Time flew away. There was never enough time. Um, but I did totally enjoy myself. I'd definitely get yourself down there to games, <laughs> to Ninja Game Den, and Snoopers Paradise is worth a, a browse. But you just will go there and browse because it's too, too, too pricey. And um, my um, second main goal is some retro toys. And now I am heading down to um, Worthing. Well, I actually made it after the worst traffic in from Brighton to Worthington. Worthing, sorry. I did not think I was going to make it, but lucky enough, the guy stays open to 6.30, and I'm here to visit the retro toy shop, uh, Type 40 Toys. Where are you? Ah. <laughs> yeah. and we've had, you know it, mate, we've had yeah. it at some point. Um, What's the name of that? Just a little bit. But yeah, literally there is new this stuff. This is Alex, in. the owner of the store. Hello. Hi. But yes. yeah, literally new stuff in every day, without yeah. fail. I've come so. down for mask and I've missed all the mask, unfortunately. Yeah, you missed it the weekend, last of it went. But yeah, always. That means you have to come back, you see. Yeah, yeah. It's like, I'm only down the road five minutes, you know. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> but what you can do, if you keep yeah. in contact, if yep. there's stuff you're specifically looking for, Yeah. I oh, I have go, a list. Yeah, that's fine. And then I can go, yeah, yeah I'll put yeah. it to one side, give you first refusal. Oh, I like I that. I do that with a lot Man of people. after if my own heart. Specifically it's after something, and you can yeah. see they're keen. Yeah, yeah, you just go, yeah, yeah. If it comes in, I'll give you. I've got yeah. a person with Harry Potter. Anything yeah. Harry Potter, yeah. doesn't matter, all goes to one side. Yeah. If they then decide they don't want it, then I put it up for sale. Yeah. But I will give them first refusal first yeah. because they're a regular. Awesome. So do you offer like postage as well? You yeah, I do take PayPal, but. I don't do selling online. Yeah, you say, oh, right, so more like Facebook or phone. Yeah, it's yeah. someone I know, I yeah. trust, they're yeah. not going to lie. So you've got to get to know the guy first of all. Yeah, yeah, just come in and give me some money, and I'm yeah. quite, quite, quite easy <laughs> like that. You've got 50p in my pocket. <laughs> That'll do! I now know you. That's the only extra expense would be the electric and the gas, because there's people there. So, 
This guy is seriously busy, dudes. I would strongly suggest coming here if you can. There is loads, there is everything and everything. Do you ever sit down? Huh? Do you ever sit down? No. <laughs> it doesn't it's look like it. There. <laughs> Customers sit on it, <laughs> but it's very rare I get to sit down. <laughs> it's like someone said, oh, you must go to the gym and blah, blah. I'm like, no. <laughs> Have you seen the stuff out the front? It's a portable gym that I drag in yeah, and drag out every day. Every day. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I, I mean, I go swimming on a Sunday and that's about as athletic as I get. Well, yeah. occasionally I go rock climbing. I'm off. Well, this Sunday, um, I'm off because I went to a motorbike show last weekend. Yeah. So I'm actually going, where are we off to? We're going ice skating and swimming. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. Multitasking. Yeah. Well, that makes up for the fact that I didn't go swimming this Sunday. Yeah. But last Sunday, because I had a motorbike show and my bike decided to die on the way back. Oh, that's I lost two nuts off my carburetor. That was it. Yeah. But those two nuts hold the carburetor out of the block <laughs> and then you get lots of air and no bang go, so, which was, uh, so I fixed that this morning before work, Yeah. and then went out for a ride just to make sure everything was okay, Yeah. which made me feel better because then I finished the ride that I should have done on Sunday in some <laughs> ways, you know. But yes, would you believe, nine times ten it's all standing up and then your customers... Yeah, it'll all fall down. And then you've got Google. So he's, Alex is showing me some nice bits, what have we got here buddy? This one, um, it's the James Bond lighter. It was only available if you actually went to the premiere. Yeah. And I went to the premiere. So you get like a goodie bag. Yeah. And um, yeah, this is the lighter I got. I've not seen another one turn up. And then awesome. on the top of the lighter, you've actually got the 007 logo just on the top engraved. Oh, there we go. Yep, I can just see it. Yeah. <laughs> reflections, reflections. Yeah, because it's. But As yeah, always. And that's that yeah, is so, really nice. And I bring in bits and pieces from my own collection yeah. because I need money now and yeah. again. So, yeah. But there's always odds and sods. I get yeah. signatures, I'm at dinner with yeah. Darth Vader, I get happy birthday. Oh, Mr. Prowse. Yeah, yeah, great guy. I've met um, him a few times. I used to do the um, comic cons at Milton Keynes. Yeah. And I've met pretty much I met Richard Kill the year before he died. Yeah, yeah, I did. We, we did a show a nice in Southampton. Guy. Such a nice, he couldn't walk or anything. No, but I shook his hand and never before in my life. Hand yeah. that was two hands in one. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I felt like a baby hand. Yeah, it was just massive. And it was the one that played in Moonraker. His other half in Moonraker. She was with him, and she looked exactly the same. Yeah, she yeah, exactly that's the advantage the of being age. a woman. They tend to yeah. age slightly better than yeah. us. Or well, they got a little tightening shoes up there. Yeah, either that. There's there's a close peg. Did you get the back and there's clothes pegs on the back and just pull it all tight but but no some of the shows are really nice you'll yeah. find the bigger the star yeah nine times out of ten the nicer they are yeah the less yeah. of a star they are they can be really a bit hmm. i've met um some of my favorite people i've absolutely met i mean i never i never fan geek out but i did for one person because i met lance henriksen a few years ago and i felt like a teenager meeting my hero because yeah. he's in all my favorite films alien so you, you, you name it yeah he's yeah, in yeah. It. Uh, but i've met uh, robert england what a nice guy. It was hard to get away from him. You know, the queue was up, the people were saying, Robert, you've got to... Yeah, <laughs> yeah, got yeah. other people, you've got other people. Where are the, which I find, when you go to the slightly smaller shows, yeah. you get more of an interaction with them. Yeah. When you yeah. get the big shows, they come round and ask you, well, which, which photo do you want yeah. signed? Yeah. And when you get there, it's pre-signed, and they hand it to you, yeah. and you're off. Yeah. And you're like, but I've just 
queue for two hours yeah. to literally walk past you. Yeah. And you're like, seems a bit weird. Yeah. Right. I mean, I said, uh, another, really, another really nice person I met, and I embarrassed the hell out of myself, was um, Gin and Anson. Met Gin and Anson at the last Milton Keynes one. Right. It was absolutely fantastic. Now, I was just talking to the then wife, and so I just got, had a picture taken, and I put my arm around her. The first one I did was squeeze their ass. Just assume, guess what I always used to do to my wife? And I was like, oh my god, and she just looked and smiled at me. And I got the picture of me bright red seconds after doing it, and he deliberately done that. <laughs> it was oh, fantastic. Uh, one of the best ones was I had dinner with Shane Rimmer. Oh, right, yeah. Uh, who was the voice of Scott Tracy and the Thunderbirds. Yeah. And James Bond, and yeah. loads of others, you just keep going on and on. Yeah. And we're sitting there and we're chatting, and all the time you're actually eye contact or looking yeah. at him, yeah. fine. When you look down and you're yeah. eating, yeah. It's Christmas Day, yeah. it's Christmas dinner, and you're on Tracy Island having yeah. dinner with <laughs> Scott Tracy. And at the end yeah. of it, I was like, thank you so much. Yeah. You made my childhood fantastic. Yeah. I've thoroughly enjoyed my adulthood because then I moved on to other things like the James Bond and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. And to finally meet you and you be so nice and yeah. welcoming and telling us all these stories is just fantastic. Lance he went bright red yes. and just said, no, no, thank you for yeah. actually, you know, liking the work I've done yeah. and stuff like yeah. that. And The thing is, because they're famous, people tend to think they're superheroes. They're just people. Yeah, it is they're a bit weird. The people. first time some, you meet someone, some of them you feel I have a bit... Met, yeah, but I have met a few people that are a bit like... The most intimidating person I met in my life, um, I didn't mean to meet him, I was just kind of in the way when he saw around, around the corner, and that was Jonah Lomu. Uh-huh. And Milton Keynes and all that, he's just come around. I was in the queue to meet Kevin Nash, and my God, that guy is huge. Yes. I don't get The picture I've got of him is awesome. And I was in his way, and he just literally went out to push me by my face out of the way. What's a prick? I mean, talk of the dead, but I don't care, yeah, you know. No, 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 there's yeah. no need. If it yeah. wasn't for I looked people... I just saw him, I just went to move, and he literally, his hand went straight... I mean, his hand was <laughs> ten times bigger yeah. than my head, of course, but no. Nah. No, no, no. There are some weird ones mm. out there, but the majority yeah. are actually very nice and yeah. quite approachable. It's like I know all the Red Dwarf team, yeah. and I'll be doing shows, and yeah. we were doing one show in Southampton, and the yeah. organisers are there, yeah. and they're like, and he just walked straight past them and came up, hi Alex, how's things going? Yeah. How's your year been? Blah, 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 yeah. blah, blah. Yeah. And you're like, you remember me? Yeah. And... You know, you must see thousands and thousands of people. Yeah. But we got on. I did an advertising campaign for Cat. Yeah. Because he was doing a Mick bit Danny like John Jules. around. He's yeah. Awesome. They're all really, really nice, yeah. down to earth Danny people. John, Danny John Jules and Craig Charles, to miss the daughter, uh, oldest one. Pat loves Red Dwarfs, and she wants to pitch them with all of them. But she's still got to meet Robert Lewer and, and Chris Barry. Now I met Chris Barry in the Watford Gaming Market about three years ago with a mate Tony. And Tony was wearing like a Smig T-shirt, and out of nowhere we heard Smig. It was brilliant. It was awesome. We walked past him, but the queue just to see him was phenomenal. Yeah, yeah that phenomenal. once again, some of yeah. the smaller shows are yeah. so much better. Yeah. The weird thing is, I've got everyone's signature that's ever yeah. appeared, or the major stars that have filled both yeah. the Kostanskis, yeah. both the, you know, Hollies. Hollies. You have the Holly. Um, the only one, I've met Craig yeah. four times now. Yeah. But I've never got round. I even had a beer with Craig. Yeah. Because um, there used to be a nightclub on the seafront opposite the pier. Yeah. And. I walked in for a late night beer because I'd finished work. Yeah. Who's sitting at the bar, but Craig Charles has finished a, a gig across the road and he's going to a small little nightclub just to have yeah. a few beers because it's open. Yeah. And I'm like, oh my lord, can I buy you a beer? Yeah, you can. So we sat there chatting. Didn't think to get a signature. And uh, he's the only one yeah. I haven't got a signature of. Uh, but he is coming get, to Worthing. Yeah. When you get talking, it's so deep because everything else disappears. And then you also feel a little bit rude yeah. to go, yeah. yeah, we've had a great conversation, it's been yeah. really nice. Yeah. Is there any chance you could sign yeah. this? Sign my napkin. <laughs> uh, yeah. So it's like um, when I met, uh, 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 who was it? We, Davros, uh, um, uh, Terry Malloy, yeah. um, who I've known for years and years now. Yeah. Um, we turned up at a show and on the flyers, they had yeah. wishes, Davros. Oh, right, yeah. Not Terry. <laughs> so you've got the wrong actor and it said, meet me here yeah. this weekend. Yeah. Well, unless you're having a seance, that's going to be quite hard. Yeah. And as Terry said, he's got every photograph that's ever been taken of him yeah. that's been released. He also has hundreds of photographs that have been taken that have never been released. Yeah. So if they needed a photo, just contact him. Yeah. And I went, don't worry, Terry, hang on a minute. And I'd literally, the weekend before, finished the Davros because I knew yeah. he was going to be there. And I will out Terry's Davros. Yeah. And he was like, see, that's me. Thanks very much. <laughs> well, a bit later on in the show, we were chatting for about an hour. Yeah. Um, about his career and what he does and the fact his voice hasn't changed. So when he appears on the radio shows, yeah. all I see is 
Stavros, which is <laughs> which does make uh, some of these programs a little bit different. Yeah. And he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I said, look, I know we've had a good old chat, but yeah. no, it's a bit rude. But instead of getting a photo signed, yeah, is there any chance you could sign my Davros? Yeah. And he went, no, I'm afraid I, I can't do that because <laughs> I'd offer to pay. For, yeah. You know? And he's like, yeah. no, I can't do that. Yeah. You brought Davros. Yeah. I can sign it for nothing for you. Yeah. Come uh, on, let's awesome. go along. Do you want some photos while we're doing it? And yeah. I'm like. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah. So yeah, that went really, and then from that point on, yeah, yeah. we did a show um, the other side of London, and who was McGann was there, and Peter Davison were there. Yeah. Well, it cost me twenty-five fine signature. Yeah. And then they wanted another tenner if I used my own camera to take a picture of them signing my Dalek. <laughs> and you're like, well, hang on, it's a bit cheeky. So I went, no, I won't bother. Yeah, and then exactly. about an hour later, their yeah. representative came over wanting to borrow one of the Daleks to go in their photo shoot. Yeah. So I said, yeah, that'd be £10 a photo. <laughs> and they went, no, 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 it, it will be your Dalek yeah. with the Doctor. Yeah. I went, yeah, that will be £10 a photo. Yeah. And then they walked off. Yeah. Well, Terry walks over in person yeah. and goes, ow, is there any chance I could borrow one of the Daleks? And I went, yeah, which one do you want? Yeah. Oh, could I have the iron side? Yeah, of course you can. Where do you yeah. want it? So I wheel it over. Yeah. And you can feel the yeah. eyes burning in the back. <laughs> but then Terry's the like... little giggle you got in your Well, face. let's get a few photos, just you, me and the Dalek. Yeah. Because, well, you're lending me the Daleks and we're yeah. friends. And you're like, I like this. Yeah, Terry knows me. Hey. <laughs> and, and the eyes like, no. He's yeah. never charged me. Always yeah. been friendly. Yeah. Treats you as you're a person. Yeah. You know, it's... There's so, so many of them, they're just so nice. When we used to do the uh, Milton Keynes ones, I keep highlighting. I miss the Milton Keynes, bring it back, bring it back! Yeah. Um, everyone would stop and talk to you. Um, Buffy guy, Anthony Stewart head. My God, he's so... He, he comes across as really posh, you know. Yeah. Oh my God, no. Oh, some Not of them, you get a few it's drinks brilliant. down them. Because when you yeah. do the shows, you yeah. tend to go out for food and drinks in the yeah. evening afterwards. Yeah. Some of them are just brilliant when they've had a few beers. So I've never seen any in the pub room because I've always gone to the shows and had to go home. Yeah. But uh, you've lived the life. Ah, so. uh, <laughs> yes. yeah. And it's like I've started doing movies now as well. Because yeah. um, I do weapons restoration. Oh, right, yeah. I do motorbike restoration, car yeah. restoration, I do furniture restoration. So I, I like restoring Doesn't rubbish stop. that other people don't get. Yeah. You're a long time dead and I've done it twice. Yeah. yeah. So um, <laughs> uh, some of the small independent movies got in contact with me and said, look, we're yeah. looking for an armourer that's not going to cost an arm and a leg and would you yeah. be interested? And I went, yes. Yeah. So I've started providing for them and then people don't turn up and they need extras. And yeah. the last, so that's, I've been doing that now for what, three, four years. And the last role I played lead villain. Yeah. Well, you're yes. English, you know, we, we do make the best English things. and I look, I yeah. have a unique, apparently, look on film. Yeah. You mean I look a bit weird. <laughs> so, but if it works and I get film work, so yeah. I've done a Judge Dredd movie, which is yeah. probably my all-time favourite comic ever, yeah. where I played villain number two. Oh. I was going to die in the first five yeah. minutes. Yeah, there's a, there's a, yeah. well, the way it should be, I did pyrotechnics on it, I yeah. did some filming on it, because I did yeah. some pickup filming. Yeah. Um, I landed up providing all the weapons. I did yeah. costume parts, I did set dressing and acting. So there should be this nice big chunk comes down of me. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's about two months away from being finished. Yeah. The thing is, it's been released as, I think it's about eight short movies, which yeah. they're now editing in to make the one, to one, one yeah. movie. Yeah. But as they're self-contained, it's actually getting them to link properly. Yeah. So we're going to have to do a little bit of pickup filming just to spot that and yeah. spot that but that's what's taken a little bit of time yeah. that's, that's where it's quite awesome. fun working on the films because you see yeah. how long it takes i mean the one where i was lead villain we started yeah. filming at four yeah. we finished it gone midnight and you get about five minutes worth of usable film yeah and you're like how how, how can you have that? <laughs> that, that that makes no sense but heart most of it's setting up making sure here yeah. lines where you're going to be yeah creating the illusion that it's a different shape building than it is because you'll yeah. come in this door yeah and I'm sitting here, but no, you've got to walk and make this place look huge, and it's the way you film it. <laughs> they go angles, then they? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. And it's like when you're shooting people, yeah. they're not there. <laughs> and when they're shooting you, yeah. you're not there. You're both facing that way, so it looks like you're facing that yeah, way. And yeah, and you've got to get yeah. used to people with awesome. light bands flashing. Yeah. Because it's easier to do the lighting 
so it looks like guns are going off. Yeah. And then all you do is you CGI in the rounds coming out. Yeah, yeah. Muzzle flashes. Yeah. But you don't have to put light on people, which yeah. is more work. Yeah, yeah. So you see but, how but, it unfolds but, and yeah. how long movies really take. Yeah. But it's fun, you know. Yeah. So yeah, you can. So dying twice isn't the worst thing that can happen to you. No. People used no. to say I was unlucky. Yeah. I know a lot of people that have only done that death thing once. Yeah. And speaking of the death thing, you've got to tell them about your funeral arrangements. Yeah, funeral set up. I'm being buried in a Dalek. I have two Cybermen as pawn bearers, um, which I want giggling as we walk down the aisle. <laughs> and I just can't wait to see them lower me into the ground. And then that Time Team special in the future will just be brilliant. Yeah. Uh, that is just awesome. So I've just finished at Type 40 Toys in um, Worthing. Worthing. And it's been absolutely fantastic. I've I've um, had some amazing stories and I'm sure he's got thousands more to tell. Yeah. Picked up some really, really nice toys. Anyway guys, I'd really suggest you come here, so tell everyone your location. We're in Worthing, Rowlands Road, 23A. You can't miss us, we're opposite the bingo hall. What's your postcode? That's what people like. BN11 3JJ. Yeah. Sorry, it's BN11 3JJ. Do you know? <laughs> he's just checking it. How long have you been here? Uh, 15 years. Yeah, but 15 how years. Did you send yourself anything? B an 11 3 JJ. Yeah, Look at that B, for professionalism. There we go. B 11 3 JJ. Yeah, so I've been here for like many hours and looked at next to nothing. So have a whole day free if you're coming here. <laughs> yeah, last stop take there was 35,000 individual items in a shoebox. Yeah. But it does mean you have to lose the lid of the shoebox, the outside of the shoebox, and even underneath the shoebox to fit it in. Yeah. But ben, I try. Absolutely. Awesome. Thanks, thanks, mate. It's been Thank fantastic. You. I will definitely be seeing more of you. And take care, guys. Cheers. Ta da. And so I picked up some bits I caught, I, I didn't catch, I picked up this really weird Scooby-Doo 4x4 and then I bought this because I love my old retro and um, yeah it all works, it's you know obviously bits probably ain't as tight as they used to be um, but it goes with the series I used to collect and that was £3.50 I mean, in the shops I used to visit in Dover, this would be twenty plus pound. The guy's prices are absolutely brilliant, and this thing as well, another vintage, um, just a ladder one. The ladder opens up, and it's got the thing that goes forward. A pound, a pound. This was one pounds, and again, it would be in tenner everywhere else. So at this point in time, I'm kind of like. You know, I'm looking around thinking, my God, he's got so much stuff. So I look elsewhere we go, and we've got this uh, little transformer, which is really, really cool. I mean, I don't have a clue what it is or where it's from. Uh, it's £3.50, but I opened him up, transformed him in. It really, really cool, so I had to have that. Uh, oh, yeah, and my um, daughter, she's absolutely, she loves her micro machines, and I've got this micro machine boat. Because she absolutely loves them, but she didn't have any boats. 20p. Yes, not a charity shop, a retro toy shop. 20 pence. Bought him as well. Uh, three pounds. Three pounds. <laughs> three pounds. Awesome. I mean, he's got like the one arm, and he's got his belt, and his jaw works, and I can put like a fishing line down him and fire him out the bedroom window if I want. But anyway, I'm leaving, and I see in the window some other stuff he's got. And I just had to have this stuff, and basically, uh, you know, a bit of He Man, you know, it's all there, it comes off. Um, that was eight pounds. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Crazy cheap, crazy happy. And then he, he put this figure, um, I think his name's Cyclops, as he was sat in it. He charged me one pound fifty for that. And then of course, got to get this. If you see this available, you got to get this. Oh man, a pound. And so I'm almost done. I am about to leave. And believe me, it's you know a long time coming, me leaving. And there's one more thing in the window I had to have. Once again, eight pound, complete with strap. And you know, obviously got to put batteries in it, whatever I do to get it working. But nothing broken, immaculate condition. And again, eight pounds. I mean, wow, these prices are amazing. And there he is. His name's Alex. He's another cool Alex. He said one of his philosophies for selling are is he wouldn't sell it to someone if he wouldn't pay that pay that for it. It's as simple as that. And yeah. So anyway, guys, I know this is a bit different video to the norm. Um, 
but I do hope you enjoyed it and I do hope you visit these places because they are really worth going to and um, as always guys like and subscribe if you like this stuff and also don't forget to hit that bell and feel free to comment down below and um, hope you enjoyed this guys take care